Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Arad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising. Weekly Tarot reading for March 4th to March 10th, uh, 2019 and uh, for this reading I'm going to use the traditional reader weight <coughs> tarot deck which is in this uh, case the radiant version of it. So while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, reminding you once again that that is going to be just a general reading for Leo star sign and for that reason um, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, <clears throat> every single different Leos. So uh, if you want a reading on a more personal touch, such as say, a personal reading you know, where your uh, situation is going to be analyzed by me through, um, through Tarot. That is a subject to a private reading and for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you are going to, oops, excuse me, and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as, well as their pricings. <clears throat> but in this video, as the reading is gonna be general, um, I will try my best to explain you the, uh, the meanings of the cards their synergy in the spread as well, but ultimately uh, you have to align it with your personal situation to make it a little bit more personal. So the first card for you, Leo, which is the topic of your week, that is going to be the uh, King of uh, Wands, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation or toward the King of Wands, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. Third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Seven of Swords. And the last one that we do have, this is going to be the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, and this is going to be the Five of Pentacles. So once again, King of Wands, Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the last one that is to be the Five of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> all I know for what it seems from these cards, guys, uh, it does look like that this, this week there will be a, a person helping you. Well, I don't know how big the help is going to go to. I mean, what kind of, a, how, how big extent the help is going to suffuse itself to. But um, at the very least, uh, this person coming or kind of stepping out because they may be around, you know, but they haven't stepped out until this very moment. So when that person steps out, the very least they're gonna boost your confidence to such an extent that you are not gonna have those issues at the end of the week, at the end, at the end of the, this week. I mean, petite issues that you had at the start. So <clears throat> to me, how it seems, or at least what it looks like is that um, in this week, a, a, a person steps out and uh, basically allows you to, or it helps you to transform your ideas into a, a very, very powerful actions, especially those kind of unknown ideas that you are uh, kind of like struggling manifesting in the sense of that there are, there, there are difficulties along the way that you are finding very difficult to overcome or there are plights along the way that you're finding very difficult to overcome anyway so the card the first card that is to be the topic we do have a person that is to be the king of wands so the king of wands a person from high expectations and uh, as well <clears throat> high criteria. but what is good about that that guy most likely it is that they do kind of like enjoy life if i may express that way or have the knack to enjoy life and also <clears throat> they're very creative in a sense of that, um, how can I place it? In a sense of that for them, there is no way that something cannot happen. And for that reason, should you cooperate with this, uh, with this person, then your ideas are going to be transformed, just like I said, into a, a very, very powerful action. But what you need to know with that guy, especially if that is about a business proposition, and even if it is about a relationship uh, consolidation here, like I said, they do have a high criteria. There is no room for compromises with them. So as this person steps out, for you, regardless of the situation, relationship or career, that means that this person believes in you and they have saw in you um, a very valuable asset. 
<clears throat> career-wise, once again, or relationship-wise. The king of wands is someone, however, who does not do the hard or rather like the dirty job. What I mean is that <clears throat> the best way that that person can help you or can be around you or can be with you is by them sharing their vision. Usually, what kind of a role that person plays into the society is that they share the vision, the vision is awesome, they point a finger and the rest are doing the job that needs to be done in order, you know, the achievement can be, um, can be reached. Therefore, <clears throat> in this week, that card could manifest itself as your supervisor seeing a productivity if in one of your ideas or in one of your approach that you are taking towards a certain project and they support you through it. <clears throat> You know, stepping out and really boost your confidence to you, showing that you can do it. Or rather like, how can I place it? Um, making you feel secure enough that you can take the risk, right? Or talking about <clears throat> relationship-wise, that could be a person with a very high criteria. So once again, that I said which comes around and actually you fit with those criteria, and so you start dating. But uh, once again, important thing with the um, King of Wands is to know that once you start interacting with this, uh, with this person, you should be pretty much aware what kind of expectations they have because there will be no room for compromise of their expectations. One thing else is that the King of Wands really, really hates drama. It's just they, they prefer everything to be, um, to be systemized. And in general, for them, there is no drama uh, for them in, ge in general. It is because what they say goes, right? <laughs> even if they are not correct at the certain point, even if, you know, what they are saying is, it seems as a shenanigan, it seems as bullshit. For their personal mindset, uh, it's the correct thing to be done. So there is, my point here is that there is no point arguing with a guy. If you find what, what their role in your life is a valuable role, then you can cooperate with them. If you find out, if you find for yourself, that is, if you decide for yourself that, they don't have a place in your uh, in your life, then you can completely neglect them and then your week is going to go as the previous week. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the Eight of, uh, the eight of Pentacles. So what we form is active neutrals and uh, it does look like that this person is rushing, is rushing something in a sense of that uh, they th they are to execute a goal on an idea or they want you in their team to execute a goal on an idea but unfortunately with these cards not every detail has been thoroughly looked into i mean so you can expect that uh, there will be some plights along the way but with the leadership because that is their natural born leader as well i mean with the leadership of this of this person if if you place the toils in or rather like the efforts in <clears throat> that project or that relationship, things should work out. Unfortunately, like I said, it, it will be a little bit harder than it has to be. And that is because the whole situation is to be rushed from the start. The, um, the negative approach toward the situation so that person comes around manifest itself in in some of the ways that i gave you here uh in your life and uh we do have the seven the nine of swords so nine of swords obviously is connected with fears and uh in your case it's the doubt in oneself that you can't tackle with those responsibilities that this person comes around. Now, if we follow <clears throat> the example of, you know, suitor comes around with really high criteria and so on and so forth, they, they are kind of like uh, impressed by you or enthralled by you, they want to date with you, but you are not sure that you can fulfill all of their criteria. Therefore, you kind of like, um, how can I place it? You kind of like self-impose a statement that they're going to lose interest in you very quickly. So basically, <clears throat> with the Nine of Swords, once again, guys, is the fear of taking the responsibility or taking the big task, 
right? So you should not be afraid of taking the big task. One more thing I want to say about this car is that <clears throat> it could also relate to a little bit of a different subject of this person. Basically, the Nine of Swords shows that if you don't have the guts or if you don't have the the courage to talk about the matter, to address issues, but instead you give them a silent treatment, the root of the issue itself, the root of the problem is not going to be revealed. So <clears throat> if you kind of incorporate more, uh, more courage in this week's actions, you will see that first thing first, your worries are in vain, especially having to cooperate with this person. Yeah, you may at the start be in a bit of insecure that you will be able to fit into their criteria, but if you start cooperating along the way very quickly, you will realize that actually you have underestimated yourself. It's That's what the card says. <clears throat> and uh, all in all, well, Long story short, I could say with this card is that you have to grasp the opportunity rather than constantly trying to uh, overthink it in order to make it more secure for, uh, for yourself. And then the accompanied card with the Nine of Swords, that is going to be the Hangman. So what we form here is Active Neutrals once again. And uh, this once you stir your actions, and you address, you know, the um, the situation which petrifies you in a sense of cooperating with this person or any kind of issue for that matter in uh, that you are facing throughout the week. It doesn't have to be, once again, it doesn't have to be only with a guy. It could address a different issue. So once you stir your actions toward that issue, you address that issue, uh, then you're going to see that... Um, the whole or the heart of the situation that have been present until this very moment so no movement whatsoever um, lack of resolution and so on and so forth it was because nobody did anything and now as you are doing something about it things will start resolving themselves bit by bit i'm not saying that magically overnight you will be able to uh you will be able to basically sort out a, a very, very big problem in your life, but at least you need to start doing something about it. With the uh, with the hangman here into the nine of swords, it does point that the fear is the one thing that makes your uh, actions futile. So your actions need to be very determined, even if you have a bit of doubt in yourself. It's very normal to have a bit of doubt, you know, especially if you have to tackle with something that uh, you have a little clue about, or, you know, in this case, that successful person approaches uh, approaches you, makes you an offer. It's uh, it's kind of normal to be a little bit of an afraid, not to disappoint them in any way, but giving yourself away to the fear, I'd say it's not going to resolve your problem. It's just going to, problems, excuse me, it's just going to make them far worse to a point where uh, nothing can be able to be done any longer. So in, the, in this case, doing something, even if it is the wrong thing, uh, even if it is the wrong thing to do at that point, is gonna be far better than doing nothing. At least according once again to uh, these uh, cards. And so the next one, uh, which is the positive approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Seven of Swords, a little bit of a buffling card here. So the Seven of Swords is about, uh, when it comes into a positive position, that is, it's about you having a, a strong backbone, a strong spine, and a huge sense of self-righteousness. To me, what that card here points is that you got to believe in yourself, that if someone else can do something, then you can definitely do the same thing, right? So if this person that it comes around with the natural born leader, uh, with huge success, that it is determined to traverse your ideas into very powerful actions, well, what I mean is that if he can do that, then uh, you have to be determined that you can do it as well. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, however, it also comes to a negotiation. I mean, you have to negotiate a good deal for yourself because uh, if, especially if it is about career, that person, it is a, a businessman. And what the businessman does, 
well, they try to extort you as much as they can. I mean, they try to milk you for what you got so they can achieve their goal on a lesser price and so on and so forth. Therefore, with the Seven of Swords, you have to make a good deal for yourself, meaning of which that you, should, you, you don't have to be agreed straight away. You can show your interest to the deal, you can show your interest to the project or your interest to the, um, to the suitor that comes around, but until the so-called, figuratively speaking, the contract, it is 100% suitable for you, you should not take it, but continue on negotiating it. As a matter of fact, uh, with the Seven of Swords, you will have to be a little bit more aggressive in the sense of that you have to storm the situation in any way you can. So ultimately, at the end, uh, you get what you truly, truly deserve. The accompanied card with uh, the Seven of Swords, that is going to be the uh, Knight of Cups. So we do have active neutrals once again. And... Uh, <clears throat> Well, that is quite good because it does point that if you work smart, you aren't going to work hard. It, the, the, this is a, a point of choice here that you do have. Are you going to toil or are you going to uh, create a, a smart maneuvers for yourself, which are going to diminish the toils uh, and basically you're going to reach the same, uh, the same result. Basically what these cards here really are, are telling us is that nothing will be left to happen by a chance in the meaning of that everything is a result of a labor but uh, the labor is going to be different for every single different one of you leos one of you uh, for some of you excuse me is going to be a mental labor so you think a lot you make a good strategy you make a good plan <clears throat> and uh with a minimum and after that with a minimal efforts you do reach the goal or you may not create a good plan you may be eager to jump in and to start acting and to start experimenting and to you know <clears throat> start showing that you are very very interested into uh, into this agenda or into this goal here either a suitor or a business proposition you know <clears throat> or a green site or a green light, excuse me, green, side, green light um, that your supervisor gave you to jump into that project under their supervision, therefore. However, but uh, once again, you don't have to be frantic about it. Uh, here also resides the, um, the maxima that you are not utilizing the 100% of your capacity. So, when you face the um, when you face this new enterprises this week uh, with the seven of swords and the knights of cups it means that you do have skill that you're not valuing it enough like the joker in the movie batman said if you can do something well you never do it for free and this is where the bargain needs to take place because this person coming around here, the Knights of uh, the, the King of Wands, excuse me, they see a, a huge value in this skill of yours. And it's just, and they will want to take it as, as cheap as they can. That's why you have to very well recognize what you can do well. And like said here, you never do it. Um, you never do it for free. But all in all, I don't see a reason why you should not be able to really, like I said at the start, transform uh, your ideas into a, a powerful actions. That doesn't mean that your ideas are going to be materialized throughout the week, but the very beginning is going to be set. So if you want to open a private business, that, these are examples that I'm going to give you right now. If you want to open or start a, a private business, this could be a business consultant or a business partner coming in, having a, a great idea on their own, but they also see a, a good potential in your own idea and you both start cooperating. But in the same time, you know, they will have high criteria, high criteria, which, uh, <clears throat> which criteria sir, may petrify you a little bit from fear that you may not be able to catch up with them. However, they will see a very lucrative skill that you possess that you're not aware of yet. And so they will try to cash out on it 
as much as they can. So that's why your bargaining chip should be your capabilities and um, as well, you know, your performance. And the last card that we do have for you, Leo, this is going to be the uh, final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance here from Tarot Cards? This is going to be the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles as an, as an outcome of growth is that you will be able to overcome as many problems as you can throughout the week. Not to mention that <clears throat> with cooperation with this person, you are going to feel much more confident at the end of the week. That's shenanigans saying gonna happen and there won't be those small stones that are that can turn over the carriage. That is an expression into uh, our country or in my country basically saying that sometimes the smallest problems can really ruin your thing. But uh, in this case, with the Five of Pentacles, there won't be any small problems. There won't be any big problems for that matter, for what it seems. It is because you would, you would have, or you will uh, take the necessary precautionary measures, these problems not to appear. With the Five of Pentacles, in an in a outcome of growth, that is a huge boost of self-confidence and as well, um, the ability to how can i place it the ability to resolve issues so if this person king of wands happens to be let's say your marriage consultant or your relationship consultant they have a big um a big criteria for the relationship itself so you have to fit those criteria being afraid of not be able to fit in those criteria and so on and so forth you realize that you do have a skewer quality of yours you are not uh, <clears throat> you are not capitalizing on till this very moment and there as soon as you start uh, capitalizing on this um, ability of yours you will start feeling yourself much much more confident the bottom line here with the uh, five of pentacles leos is that um you're not gonna feel weak, all right? You're not gonna feel weak anymore in regarding the field that this person comes around. So a, a big, big help, at the very least boost of confidence in, is coming through that week. And the last, the uh, accompanied card here with the five of pentacles, that is going to be the uh, ace of uh, pentacles and basically through your confidence through the state you're finding yourself at being almighty, being capable to tackle with any kind of difficulty coming around, you are going to start exerting success into your business, harmonies, uh, into harmonious flows into your relationship. Not to mention that this card will um, give you content and uh, exhilaration in the dailies, in the dailies routine. And, um, uh, itself it could present or it could present itself and a rare opportunity to further your goal okay so the way i see all that uh, that reading guys just to summarize all this is that this week um a person enters or step or is stepping in into your life to show you that your capabilities can be much higher or your yeah, your cap it's not your capabilities, but your limits, all right? You are basically setting the bar way too low for yourself. And uh, through boosting your confidence, it's, you are going to overcome the fear of insecurity here, discovering the, uh, the skill that you have but not capitalizing on. And as soon as you start capitalizing on it, your confidence is going to boost up and uh, that rare opportunity to further your goal, whatever your goal is, is going to present itself to you. So that was uh, your tarot reading, Leo, for uh, March 4th to March 20th, 2000, and uh, March 10th, excuse me, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this is going to be, this was a, a general reading for Leo star sign. For that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Leo. But if you want more personal touch on the matter, on your personal matters, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed through me, uh, through Tarot by me, 
uh, then that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out the website my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're gonna find a full list of my services as well as their pricing Brad signing out now see you around bye